Dubai is very well known for its excess. Everything is new and state-of-the-art. Dubai is an oasis of lavishness planted in the shifting sands of an endless desert. But years ago, they did something so crazy it made all other projects look like small, insignificant projects. Even their own Burj Khalifa couldn't be compared to this mega-project. The project was called The World, and it's a massive man-made archipelago in the shape of the countries of Earth. This mega-project is so large it can be seen from space, though reportedly the project has been a failure and abandoned by Dubai. But why such a mega-project was left to die like that? And what is the future of this project? Let's find out in today's video! Hello, and welcome to Building the Future! In today's video, we are going to give you exclusive details about a 35 billion construction project in Dubai that has been completely abandoned and no one is allowed to visit it. So make sure to watch the video till the end to find out more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Dubai is one of the cities that hosts one of the biggest buildings of the world. The Burj Khalifa is a record setter by hosting astonishing hotels, astonishing shopping malls, and the longest gold shopping center. In 2003, a new crazy project had been announced to add to Dubai's hat called the World Man-Made Island, a project worth more than a billion. The shape of this man-made island just resembled the map of the Earth. With three already constructed man-made islands, the world was planned to be the tourist hotspot as it is just a short ride ahead of Dubai. But after a decade of completion, the islands are still abandoned. There is hardly anything built on that. But why? What happened to the most ambitious project in Dubai? Stay tuned to find out more. In early 2000, the real estate boom in the United Arab Emirates was at its peak, and it was expected to develop enormous opportunity in creating an artificial coastal land in Dubai. At that time, most of the Dubai coastal lands had already been expanded. Nakil Properties, a government-owned real estate company, made a twist to change the coastline of Dubai drastically in just two decades. First, the company came up with a plan to build three palm tree-shaped man-made islands the Palm Jumeirah, Palm Dira, and the Palm Jubal Ali. The project of Palm Jumeirah doubled the coastline of Dubai. In 2003, they announced the latest project called The World. The islands were planned to have low-density housing, high-density complexes, and some of its parts were planned to be used commercially. In the later phase, this island was planned to be supplemented with an even larger project called The Universe, which, when viewed from space, represents the shape of the Sun, the Moon, our galaxy, and the Milky Way. This project represented the aspiration of the cosmopolitan city like Dubai. But what happened to it? Stay tuned to find out everything. The level of confidence behind this project is eye-popping. It has all the potential to be the tourist hotspot that surely creates a new income source for Dubai, where most of its wealth comes from the extraction of oil. Keep watching and find out what actually happened to these ambitious plans. At the end of 2006, the land reclamation and construction of the first apartments in Palm Jumeirah was completed and handed over. The streams of Palm mainly host private spaces, and in the ring around the Palm, the luxury hotels were planned to be built. When the Palm Jumeirah was still under construction, the company Nakiel Properties took the risk to start their new project, The World. It seemed that every mega-project Dubai was building turned into a great success. The highest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, opened in 2009. But all these couldn't sustain the international financial crisis that readily affected Dubai, especially the real estate industry. All the mega-projects were compelled to shut down. Projects related to the artificial island was also about to collapse. In addition, most of the construction sites were shut down in no time amid this crisis, and the declining demand for the project lead to the rapid fall of the price of the plots. Furthermore, development of Palm Jibal Ali came to a standstill. The empty sandbanks that spread over 7 kilometers were completely forgotten when the company Nakiel Properties announced the refunds to its investors. The land reclamation plan of Dubai was advanced enough that you can see the shape of some of the islands on the satellite image. In most of the cases, the land reclamation had processed, but it was far from complete. Then, in 2013, Nakiel Properties tried to save the project Palm Dira by rebranding it. 
The project was scaled down. The land reclamation was stopped, and now it is known as Dura Islands. The entire project was cut short to have two high-rise buildings and a long shopping street. Finally, for the world, most of the land reclamation was already done, and a large part of it has already been sold apart before the financial crisis hit Dubai's real estate industry. And as soon as the crisis began, most of the investors started bringing up their problems, and the entire project came to a halt. Though after the initial threat of financial crisis, Dubai bounced back, and investment came to lots of new projects. But the world project did not benefit much from this, as most of the investors were not sure about the revenue out of this project. Therefore, 10 years after the initial project announcement, the highly ambitious project is no longer a fit for the current time. But a crippled real estate market wasn't the only problem. The project was plagued by a series of events that foreshadowed what was to come. In 2009, Nakil has to be bailed out of a $25 billion debt, and now the company that paid to own the rights to ferry people to the islands is bringing a case against Nakil. Adding to this, there were many concerns behind the situation, starting from environmental issues to the longevity of this island. It was in the news that smaller channels were found between the islands that started to sand up. And the raising of sea level was another concern that further grew the danger for this project. According to Penguin Marine, the sand used to build the islands was slowly falling back into the sea from where it came. The channels between the islands were filling back in, and if it continues on this way, the entire world will soon be back beneath the surface of the ocean. A strange metaphor for sea level rise, to say the least. Other than that, residences of Palm Jumeirah have continuously complained about the water quality it provides. The backwater is necessary for protecting the palm from erosion, and it helps to hinder the natural tide movements. But that causes additional environmental concerns. As due to construction, the seawater within the palm becomes stagnant. Along with that piling up, thousands of tons of sand on the seabed destabilize the coastal soil, which could lead to erosion of the natural coastline. Altogether, these negative environmental impacts make it impossible to marketize the project. In addition to this, the condition of migrant laborers is also catching the attention of the media, which is also helping to build an overall negative effect. Nevertheless, few projects are starting to take shape in these islands. In 2014, an Austrian real estate company announced that they are planning to develop several projects on European islands. The project is named the Heart of Europe as the mission is to create a mini version of Europe, with luxurious hotels whose constructions are inspired by Venice or Monaco. In addition to these hotels, they have planned to build a chain of European food courts in Plaza. The project is currently under construction, and only time will tell whether this can bring back the glory in terms of economic success. Now what is the possible future of this mega-project? Every corner of the world takes risky development projects, Few of them get success, whereas few fail. This kind of project often serves a greater role than just being financially successful for them only. They attract tourists and support the local economy. Apart from just boosting the local tourism industry, a few of the projects, instead of symbolizing the start of a new era, serve as national pride. So if you question Dubai for this ambitious planning, the same criticism must come for every part of it. But for this time being, the question has remained whether the ambitious man-made island project is going to change the coastal landscape of Dubai or not. Do you think this mega-project was a total fail for Dubai? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our latest updates. You can always change your mind later. Thanks for watching.